Begin by using a T30 torque and removing the two T30 torque bolts under the armrest indicated by the red arrows. There are eight clips, red arrow, that hold the door panel in place. Some of these clips might break or stay in the door when you are removing the panel. You want to use the proper door panel trim removal tool and get as close to the clips as possible. Prying them out will take a surprising amount of force and you want to avoid having the plastic section of the panel that holds the clips break. Also, you do not want to pull on the panel with your hands as you risk bending or damaging the panel itself. Lift the door panel up and out of the window channel, starting at the rear and working your way forward. With the panel off, reach in and squeeze the two clips on the Bowden cable together and release the cable from the mount and slide it out of the opening in the panel, yellow arrow. Remove the door pull cable from the panel by pulling it back and slipping it out from the cable mount, red arrow, then lifting it out of the handle, yellow arrow. Unplug the electrical connections from the control unit, red arrow. Take the panel and lie it face down on something soft to protect the trim. Depending on how your vehicle is optioned will depend on the accessories you are servicing. On our project vehicle, we had a lower door light, red arrow, and the rear window switch, yellow arrow. To replace the bulb or housing, you can disconnect the wiring by pressing in on the small tab, red arrow, and pulling the connection out from the housing. To replace the bulb, turn the bulb housing counterclockwise and pull it from the lens housing. The bulbs just pull straight back and out from the housing. When replacing the bulb, do not touch it with your bare hands, as oils from your skin can cause a hot spot on the bulb and diminish its life expectancy. You should be able to replace the bulb housing by pressing in on the two tabs on the side of it and removing it out from the front of the panel, red arrows. On our project car, the housing was glued and or melted to the panel. To replace the window switch, use a T10 torque and remove the single screw, red arrow. Then press the small tab, yellow arrow, towards the screw. This will release the switch. The window switch will come out from the front of the panel. Check the panel before reinstalling it to make sure all the clips are in the panel and not the door. This photo shows the location of the clips. If a clip remains in the door, simply remove it and reinstall it along with the rubber isolator, red arrow, back into the mount in the panel, yellow arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.